John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God in it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Exodus 2010 Commentary But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Not which he rested on, and ceased from the works of creation in, though he did rest on the seventh day of the creation, and so on every other day since, as well as that, nor does it appear, nor can it be proved, that this day appointed to the Jews as a Sabbath was the seventh day of the week from the creation of the world, but was either the seventh day of the week from their coming out of Egypt, or from the reigning of the manna but this is called the Lord's Sabbath, or rest, because enjoined by him to the people of Israel, and not to them until they were separated from other people, and were a distinct body of men under a certain meridian, for it is impossible that one and the same day, be it the seventh, or any other, should be kept to exactness of time by all the inhabitants of the earth, it being night with one part, when it is day with another, and not the same day to them all. In it thou shalt not do any work, of a servile nature, exercise any trade or any hand labor, or any kind of work for pleasure or profit, only works of mercy and necessity. No labor or handicraft was to be exercised, according to the Jewish canons, until the going out of it, or the appearance of the stars. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, neither a man nor his children, male and female, such as were under age, and under the tuition, direction, and care of their parents, who were to instruct them in this kind, and not suffer them to work on this day, and much less oblige them to it, for as for those that were grown up, and no longer under the inspection of parents, and were heads of families themselves, they are included in the word thou, and are in the first place charged in this command. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, this is to be understood, according to the Jews, not of hired servants, concerning whose rest from labor a man was not bound, but of such as were born in their house, and bought with their money, and of such menservants as were circumcised, and in all things professed to be proselytes to the Jewish religion, and to conform to it, for as for one that only received the commands of the sons of Noah, and was not circumcised, he might do work for himself on the Sabbath day, but not for his master, and no Israelite might bid him work on the Sabbath day for the necessity of an Israelite, though he was not his master. If a servant does work without the knowledge of his master, and it is known to all that he does it without his knowledge, there is no need to separate him from it, or take him off of it so made servants, when they did things without the knowledge of their masters and mistresses, and without being bid to do it, they were free to do it thus, for instance, they say. A cheese which maids make of themselves, of milk that belongs to an Israelite, is lawful when he does not bid them make it. Nor thy cattle, of any sort whatever that is used to labor, because if the cattle did not rest, servants could not, who are concerned in the care and use of them in, Deuteronomy 5.14, the ox and the ass are particularly mentioned, because laborious creatures, the one were used in plowing, and treading out the corn, and the other to ride upon, and carry burdens, and concerning the latter the Jews have this canon. He who is going in the way, or on a journey, and has sanctified for himself the day, and has money with him, and has an ass, and though he has with him an idolater, he may not put his bag upon his ass, because he is commanded concerning its rest, but he may give his bag to the idolater to throw it upon it, and at the going out of the Sabbath he may receive it from him, and even may not give him a reward for it. But not only those, but all sorts of cattle were exempt from labor on this day, as horses, camels, mules, etc. which, according to the Jewish canons, as they were not to be employed in work by the Jews, 
so they were not to be let or lent out to an idolater nor the stranger that is within thy gates who was a prose light of the gate, and not of righteousness, as for the prose light of righteousness that was circumcised, and professed the Jewish religion, about him there could be no doubt. Concerning his rest on this day, but the prose light of the gate, his case was not so clear, and therefore is particularly expressed, and by which description it should seem that he was not obliged by this law, had he not been within their gates, or a sojourner in any one of their cities, since it was contrary to the laws and usages among whom they dwelt, and might be an offense to some, and a snare to others, and, as Grotius thinks, might be to their detriment, get their work and their gain from them, they are forbid to work, and yet, according to the Jewish writers, they might work for themselves, though not for an Israelite, as before observed.